Алло? We finished the last kill for Return the Favor. We then had to go and place the blue folders in the U-Sent camps. We got stung. We got stung big time. I wasn't too happy, but the prices have went up, so it's not too bad. 60 million for a couple of folders. Got them planted. So go out the raid, head over to the light keeper to hand in the quest. So for that quest reward, we got another electrical book, which uh, enables us to do some crafting. We've already got one. The only reason I actually have one is because I got really lucky at early wipe and actually got it on my scav. I think I scaved into streets and a scav had it on him, which is insane luck. We head back over. We're going to get our next quest now that time has went by. Знакомое лицо. Приветствую. пару интересных вещей отлично прорабатываю вопрос не торопи события удачи this next quest is interesting it's called payback it starts with having to kill gluhar and all of his guards as you progress with the quest more steps unlock we then need to shoot a yellow flare in a specific location and take the Red Rebel Extract. Now, although I crap my pants every time, I thought I'd re-show this. This is a bug where you kill any AI entity that you will hear a bullet whiz right, a few seconds after he dies. So please do not be alarmed as soldiers. Oh no. Now, for whatever reason, we disconnected randomly from the raid. Although that AI seemed to be a little bit spicy. In my head, I'm thinking it could be Gluhar underneath, so let's check. Oh, it's Gluhar. I was really unfortunate we disconnected because now my bearings are a little bit lost. I've not heard what shooting's going on. I can hear something nearby. Turns out to just be a scav. I did hear movements above the bunker, so I can only assume players are inbound as well.
There's one guard here on particular on the left hand peak that's causing me a bit of problems. So we lap all the way around and try coming in from the other side. Just beforehand we heard some shots and there we just killed a player. Now we've been disconnected, I'm not too sure what's going on. We've now just gotten our third guard kill, so three more to go. But I'm unsure what's happening at the other end with the shots that we heard. Time to push in to see if we get the last two guards. We need to throw a nade out to see if we get any voice signs. However, unfortunately, I think they're dead. Seems to be just scavs remaining. We look glue hard, we look a few of the boys, and then we find the player. Player was killed, who I assume was a guard, a guard's name. We disconnect. Again. No. Managed to get back into the raid. I've accounted for all the guards, so there's no more. We loot up, hide our bag. We're going to run over and hit the Hermetic button and then take the Hermetic Extract and we need to go back again for two more guards. We load straight into the next raid in hopes that Gluhar's here. Oh, that's underground. Oh. Blue again. All I need is two guard kills. I'm not interested in the PvP, but it's absolute chaos down there. So I tried to flank round over the top to see if we can pick off two guards. That was definitely the last guard we shot at. We can tell by the pants or trousers that he's wearing. So we're going to try and lap over the top to catch him. <laughs> we got Gluhar and all the boys. We now need to go to the dome and shoot a yellow flare. It does need to reach a certain height, so let's go do it.
I didn't want to hang about with this part, so I just went balls to the walls. We basically sprint over to the dome. I'm not exactly sure where we need to shoot the flare. I just know it needs to reach a certain height. The only tip I can give with the flare is don't shoot it directly up because it'll go backwards. You want to shoot it up, but you want to tilt it forward just a little bit. We're done, man. After the woods quest and getting this done in two raids, I was buzzing. It's time to head over to the lightkeeper to hand this bad boy in and see what he's saying. It's a whopper, boys. We got a microcontroller board and three lead X's. We head back over to Thailand to get our next quest and we find a fellow traveler. Hello, mate. Сейчас. Всему свое время. До скорого. Provocation. Now, I actually messed up a little bit in this quest because you have to kill 20 enemies around the Keeper Arms store while using an Ash 12. Literally that. Eliminate 20 enemies. I thought it was PMCs. Now, because we've been farming killer on stream, I thought it was going to be a bit cheeky and pick up some PMC kills in the kill zone with the ash. However, when I checked the quest, that was almost complete. Rather than showing you all those random kills, uh, we got a couple to get and then the next steps unlock within the quest. It's another one of these progression-based quests. Now to interact with 21WS, Kiba, and 11SR, as you can all see, we need the power to be on. So that's the next goal. We need to head over to the power station to turn the power on for them all, man.
Now, we've got the power on. We can start getting to work on these tasks. The first thing I choose to do is to plant the toilet paper inside the secure container stash, also known as 21WS. This is outside the back of Ollie. We take the underground route to there. Learning the underground is awesome. It makes interchange way easier. Head over there to get the first part done. Now, for the price of this key, it's probably worth because you can get some nice items. I think that scope alone is going to pay for the key card. However, it is just so out the way to loot that I can't ever imagine myself looting it. I think the next part is fairly standard. I think this is just the interchange move for any time you're going to take 11SR. You would pop that first and then you would do Kiba and then take 11SR because you can actually extract there. This key is actually valuable. If you do plan to play interchange quite a bit, uh, it's maybe a map that you enjoy. You already know this probably. However, 11SR is a really good way to extract a map, avoid player scavs, extract campers and all that kind of stuff. Remember though, it is a one-time use. There is a bunch of loot in here, so we have a little scoot around. Sometimes you can get a, a thermal on a, one of the gun attachments on the wall, and we plant the salty dog beef sausage. Now that that's all done, we've got one final objective. We've got to go and place the bottle of fierce hatchling moonshine inside a living SR and extract. We completed all the tasks, it's time to hit the button and get out of there. Back to the base. 